Monster Rock has this year. Grounded over to third and a nice play is Kelsey Nucky. On the 1-0 count. And this is jammed a little bit. Jordy Harris over at second makes the play. And with that, let's go around the diamond. White cracks one towards center field. Steph Trzinski ranging back. It will be playable. And Harper Bridley, she lays down the bunt. Harris at second easily. Fidge across to first. And there's just some good team softball. She grounds it over towards short. Scooped up by White across the diamond. Called out. Mel McGee. Coloring the circles for us today. Kaysler, a hot shot, and it score. rifles off Adams. Harris rounding third. She'll score easily. Kaysler stands on second, and the rocket from Lana has put the Eagles in front. Heartbreaking fashion. Allen up the middle. White scoops and steps, retires the side, but again, one of the most powerful bats, and you see it there. It's the first base hit on a hard hit ball that just rolls all the way to center field. Throw a lot of pitches. Grounded over towards third. Picked up by Hoyle, but she nice just one. double clutches. But, uh, handy because Grounded up the middle, the middle again, but nobody is there. And Maddie Cameron is flying around the bases and she steps in safe at home. Cameron with a charge of determination. Touches home and this game is level. Well, we thought it was going to be the top four batters that do the damage for the Falcon. Stands in and this grounded up the middle again and it doinks off the glove. They get one at two. Split. One three split with one out. Even that play looked a little awkward from the West Torrens infield. Fidge again on the dirt. Holding the runner was Harper. Tonkin to right field. She's cashed in one. Call it gets held up at third. And Rachel Tonkin has now put the Falcons in front. Big lead that you got to peg back. I mean, Swing and a miss. That's a big time strikeout from Harper Bridley. Barovnik off to the right side, but Tonkin scoops. Under it a little bit, but moving back is Collett in left field, makes the play. Always seems more comfortable in the ninth spot. Lays down the running bunt, hustling down the line. It had to be a bang bang play. Swing and a miss. Ridley strikes out Adams, base woman in her first at bat. And now it's a hard hit ball right up the middle. Just stays with it and gets aboard. Rolled over to short. Kaisler plays over to one to this match. Straps off of Bridley's glove and Lana Kaisler across the diamond. A nice pick from Kelsey Nucky. Harris has had some good experience across the board and this kind of buckles Rachel talking a little bit. Second chance. She, and she gets a good jump on a slow roller to second. It's as good as a bunt. Hood. Nice ball to center field. Nice movement from Maddie Cameron. Grabs the ball over her shoulder. Kaysler up the middle. Easily grabbed by Fidge. And boy, Ruby Fidge looks really settled right now. Depends if that's nerves, if that's excitement. This is Riley Moore grounded over to Bridley. It's a matter of what you do with those emotions. Dealing the pitch right now to Steph Collett. Over to Lana Kaysler. Kaysler scoops up and fires. But around the diamond, junior player that's come through the ranks, knocks it over to right. That gets through. Nucky, a nice backhanded play from Jordan Harris. After that, just got through the glove of Nucky. Yeah, that's, uh, that was hit pretty hard. And the first one went to the right side of the diamond there for her as well from Rachel. So. Knocked over to short. Getting down with it is Belinda White. And how quick was that release and throw across the diamond? Again, and Adams tried to make a play on that. I don't know if 
She kind of intercepted what Bell White thought was her. Coming to replace her. Swing and a miss from Borovnik. A good bounce back. We have options as well. Nucky to left field. Call it moving back. It drops in and rattles against the fence. Benedictson rounding third. There won't be a play at the plate. And a double from Kelsey Nucky has tied the game. Right on cue, Pete. Knocked over to Fitch. She has to get up and make the play, but she does. But who are those runs against, though? Yeah, those interesting facts. As Tonk into center field. And just like you called, look who's in center field making the play. Watching. So Orsini come over the last couple of seasons to play uh, step toe. Knocked over to short. Kaisler, a nice play. Is it Strandlin? Up the middle, Strandlin, a nice job sticking that left mid out there. Finish, but the game will start around about 7.30. Knocked over to third, what a snag from Adams, and what a throw across the diamond. Just flies across the diamond quickly. She's obviously got those couple of little errors that she's had early in the game out of her head, took that with confidence, and just rocketed it over to get the out. Yeah, no pressure uh, on the what's that, James. Uh, and there she goes. Grounded over to Short, and it gets through two players. And now Harris will push for three. She slides in there safely. So it was Harris pushing for third on a Kaisler. And just like that, there are two outs and ru two runners in scoring position. What? Both teams have a two out hit already this game, but Hoyle pops it straight up in the air. Tonkin finds it. Danger averted. Three of the top four batters. Up the middle, charging onto it at second is Harris, and another nice flip. Harris has had to be good at second today. Straps rolled over to first, and somehow that line. stays fair. Knocked over to third, grabbed by Hoyle, and it's another one, two, three inning. Swing and a miss. Strandlins wins that battle. Your four seed get Come through. through. Well taken over at short from White, two down. Game, it just feels different. Off to the opposite field again. Abby Kennedy moves in and makes the play, and we're going to the seventh all squared up. But Fidge make a, an appearance just before Christmas. Call it along the dirt, picked up by Trzinski, and diving in there with some heart is Call it. Had a phenomenal pitching inning. Michaela was not hopeless at all the other night. She was pretty good as well. So Strandland strikes out looking two down. Yeah, they feel it's right in. Swing and a miss. A third strikeout from Trzinski. And the Eagles will have a chance to walk it off in the seventh. She's on first. That's absolute worst case scenario for the Falcons. What they have to do now is... Bunt showing again. It's laid down. Harris hustling down the line. It's scooped up. It's a close play. They get the runner at first. Along the ground, it gets through. The runner being waved around. Beal hustling for home. Play at the plate, and she slides in safe. Walk-off hit for Steph Trzinski. She drills one up the middle. It goes to the forehand side of Maddie Cameron. So she has to get around the ball to make that play up at the plate. It looks like a pretty good throw to me. Sarah Tonka lays down a tag, but Jackie Bill did not break stride as she rounded third and she scored. And the Eagles will go through to the 2023 CMAX Premier League Grand Final. Well, you said there just a minute ago, uh, Eric, about how Steph's not really been hitting fantastic. She did have that big home run, but she's been a little bit cold lately. What a time to pull out a hit like that. Well, it took contributions throughout the lineup to make that happen, and I'm sure it's a feeling of relief for West Torrance.